Let me encourage you to partner with us in extending the kingdom of God online by giving this video a like, subscribing to our channel and sharing it with as many people as possible. It has a real impact. Hello, everyone. Happy birthday, Coastline. Um, when Sarah asked me to speak a few weeks ago, uh, she said the gathering's on the 22nd of September. And when I looked at the date, I realized that exactly that day, two years ago, is when I landed at Heathrow and moved here to the UK. So I thought it was pretty fitting if I could come up with some, with my story, actually, something to share with you all. Um, it wasn't very difficult because it's been really incredible journey. Um, I came to the UK because I wanted to retire from professional basketball, um, which I've played before that in Spain for many, many years. And then my, as you can hear, my accent's American. So before that I lived in America, but originally I'm from South Africa. So <laughs> I've been all around and um, felt pretty like kind of uprooted, I guess, very like unattached to anywhere specific. And I always prayed to, for Jesus to help me um, put some roots down somewhere. Um, and I, I hoped that I would find that in the UK when I came. So it led me to Bournemouth uh, here in last year in May, 2023. And I was basically just given a blank slate. I could fill my life with really anything I, I wanted to do. Um, and I quickly realized that the one thing that's most important to me is my faith and um, uh, Jesus. And I wanted to have people around me who shared that. Um, it was easy to talk to about that and who see life through the same lens. So um, because my job's now completely different, I'm sitting at a desk, I really wanted to fill my free time with lots of active activities. Um, so I club hopped a lot, like tennis and rowing, and tried to find just a group that I could connect with. Um, so one Thursday evening, I was on my way home from the tennis club here, Winton Tennis Club, and this beautiful church building that I always passed by and admired, the doors were actually open that day or that evening. And I was kind of wondering why, because it's a Thursday evening. Um, and I thought maybe it's like a museum or something, like <laughs> some old Catholic church, I don't know. Uh, and I, I brought my bicycle in the doorway and I actually ran into Fifi. Uh, so she's the first person I met here. And uh, she told me the worship team are rehearsing this evening. And I was like, oh, wow, can I just sit here and listen? So I just literally sat in the back on the floor and <laughs> I listened to them uh, rehearse. And it was awesome. Uh, all the songs they were playing, like, as you know, they're an amazing band. And um, they were playing song after song um, that I actually listened to on my own and love. So I thought, OK, I need to come check this church out. Um, and when I did start coming, everyone had been so welcoming, uh, the leaders of teams and then the young adult leaders, Lauren. <laughs> um, they were always uh, welcoming me in and always greeting me and asking me how I was. Um, and pretty quickly, I started to get to know people. Eventually, I joined the hospitality team. Um, and that was really cool to me about this church is that it's not just a church that you attend. Um, you come here and then you get to exercise your faith, as John said, um, and bring that into your everyday life. So that's what I re that's really what kept me bring coming back, is that this church really cares about outreach and the community and different, ac different things that they offer. Yeah, so then one, one last really cool uh, full circle moment I want to share is that about six months ago, I was invited to a meal for six. Um, and it was hosted in number 10, which is the missional community house that Coastline has for young adults. Um, and that's where I learned about that. And um, about three weeks ago, I actually moved in. So I'm living there now. And I actually got to host my own meal for six. So that was really cool. Um, and I basically just want to say thank you all for inviting me. And I'm really excited to see what God's going to do here. Thank you. Thanks, Jude.